insanely delicious desserts you need to try before you die. If you consider all of the many varied cultures and food traditions throughout the world, it may seem practically impossible to try every sweet treat and confection that's out there. That may not be true for the obsessive eater, but most of us have jobs and family lives to consider, and so a worldwide dessert trek must be resigned to the realms of fantasy. Take heart, however. You may or may not be able to eat absolutely every single dessert that's ever been dreamed into existence, but you can make a pretty good dent in that list during your time here on Earth. You don't even need to go on a jaunt or two across the globe to get a good dessert experience. Adventurous home cooks can even create some of these dishes on their own, though no one's judging you if you pop into a local bakery to check some of these off your list. Black Forest Cake. A classic Black Forest cake dessert has multiple layers of chocolate cake, whipped cream, and cherries. The assembly is coated with more whipped creams and chocolate shavings, along with a few more of those bright cherries for decoration. Oftentimes, the cherry flavor of the cake is enhanced by the addition of some cherry schnapps to some of the cake layers. Gulab Jam. Many people and places claim that they have a lock on fried dough treats, be it donuts, beignets, churros, or something else. But before you make a final decision on who's attained fried dessert perfection, you'd better try Gulab Jamun, Pakistan's delicious take on the food. According to The Donut, Gulab Jamun is made out of milk solids that are thickened with flour, fried, and soaked in a sweet rose water syrup. Different variants of this treat are served throughout the Indian subcontinent and beyond, but most agree that it's best served hot and fresh. Black and white cookies. Desserts are often tied to a place, sometimes so deeply that even the mere mention of a treat can draw someone back in time. For many who've been to or lived in New York City, that sort of ineffable experience is summed up in the iconic black and white cookie. The cakey cookie is striking, with one side coated in chocolate and the other in white vanilla icing and maybe tied to the beginning of New York itself, says Eater. If you haven't already, take a bite into history with a black and white cookie. Carrot cake. All too often, good desserts are upstaged by sad versions of the original. Carrot cake, alas, is often a victim of this phenomenon. You may have had a gummy cake out of a grocery store case covered with a rubbery cream cheese icing. Please don't let that deter you from carrot cake glory. Done right, it will boast a lighter texture with rich spice flavor and beautifully sweet tangy icing. Of course, some grocery store traditions like the delightful little carrot made out of piped icing on top of many slices are part of the fun. Cheesecake, read any halfway decent recipe and you'll be confronted with cautions over temperatures, custards, crusts, and even the humidity of your oven. With practice, Creating your own cheesecake dessert isn't so bad. Done well, it's really worth it to eat a slice, whether you've crafted it yourself or found an excellent pastry chef. As defined by the Oxford Companion to Sugar and Sweets, it's a tangy, sweetened mix of soft cheese, eggs, spices, and a bit of sweetener like honey. Done right, it will also have a delightfully creamy, decadent texture. Tres leches cake, literally translating to three milks cake, a pastel de tres leches is a rich dessert that's been around for centuries, says the Austin Chronicle. It likely hails from medieval Europe, though it's now more famous for its Latin American connections. There are about as many recipes for tres leches cake as there are days in a year, at least, but a few common themes run through all of them. Usually, the base is a sponge cake soaked in, of course. Three different kinds of milk. Evaporated milk, condensed milk, and heavy cream. Macarons. Macarons are a social media maven's dessert treat. Don't let looks fool you, however. These treats can also be a delicate, delicious treat for your taste buds as much as for your eyes. The base cookies are crispy and just a little chewy. The filling can be anything from a rich, flavored buttercream to a sweet and tart jam that's sure to please nearly everyone. Charlotte Royale. If we're talking about impressive dessert looks, a Charlotte Royale is pretty hard to beat. It's a domed dish made out of rolled sponge cake, filled and cut into spiral slices, which are then used to line a bowl and filled with a mousse filling. The Great British Bake Off recipe by British cooking Maven Mary Berry uses raspberry for the mousse and a strawberry jam for the Swiss roll slices that will form the outside layer of the dish and make its first impression. With tart flavors and striking look, it's worth at least one try. Alpha Horace. This dessert is especially popular throughout South America. Once you bite into one, 
you'll be sure to understand why this is a continent-wide favorite. Alfa Jores are made with shortbread sandwich cookies, which in their best form, lend a buttery, crumbly flavor and texture to the experience. The two cookies sandwich a layer of dulce de leche, a sweet kind of caramel filling made out of slow-cooked sweetened milk. They're excellent on their own, but you may also want to try variations that include chocolate coatings, spices, coconut shreds, and more. Chocolate babka. Babka is a classic yeasted loaf popular throughout Europe, but you can kick it up to dessert-level deliciousness with the addition of chocolate. A good chocolate babka looks great, with a beautifully braided loaf spilling over with chocolate filling. It also tastes wonderful thanks not only to the cocoa, but also the savory, enriched dough that forms the base. Key Lime Pie. How many people have had a real key lime pie? Sure, you may have had a dessert that claims to use these unique, tiny limes from the Florida Keys, but once you've had the true thing, you'll never be able to go back. According to Southern Living, Key Lime Pie has a rich, if somewhat mysterious, history. Wherever it came from, exactly, this tangy, creamy treat really needs those fresh key limes to stand out. Their milder, sweeter flavor compared to standard grocery store limes truly elevates this dish. Sticky Rice with Mango Known as Khao Niao Mamuang in Thailand, mango sticky rice is a classic treat that, according to Falo Fauzia, is often served as a street food. This pudding-like dessert is made with, of course, rice thickened with coconut milk. A few tablespoons of brown sugar help to round out and sweeten the flavors, but we all know that mango is the true star of this dessert. If you're lucky enough to live in a place where ultra-fresh, ripe mangoes are available, then be sure to incorporate them into this dessert. Yule log, known as Bouche de Noël in French-speaking regions, the perennial favorite Yule log is a classic dessert served up during the holidays. As per history, it's got a centuries-long pedigree, at least if you're counting the tradition of burning an actual log in an annual ceremony. The far more tasty rolled sponge cake version probably first appeared in the 17th century and got popular in 19th century Paris. With rich fillings, tasty cake, and a chocolate ganache coating, this is a delicious dessert that could easily put you in the right seasonal mood. Tiramisu. Food fads seem to come and go, whether it was the rise of macarons in one decade or cupcakes in another. It's wonderful on its own merits, thanks to sponge cake, sweet mascarpone, ladyfinger biscuits, cocoa powder, and espresso. The more adventurous amongst you might also try an adults-only version laced with alcohol like rum or marsala wine. Creme brulee. Sure, creme brulee may directly translate from French into English as burnt cream, but don't let the name dissuade you. As the Oxford Companion to Sugar and Sweet says, it's a sweetened custard, usually served in a small dish topped with sugar. The sugar is gently heated with a blowtorch until it begins to caramelize. This transforms it into a delicious, crackly, crunchy crust. Be sure to treat your taste buds to this classic French dessert at least once in your lifetime. Bananas Foster. If you're of legal drinking age, then try to snag the chance to try out the famous Bananas Foster dish. According to Sever, this dessert was invented in 1951 at Brennan's Restaurant in New Orleans, Louisiana. This dish of caramelized bananas cooked in a boozy rum sauce is plenty good already, but you may get lucky and see it getting flambied in the rum by a chef or waiter. Flames are always good theater, but Bananas Foster done right is pretty tasty too. Mochi. According to the Follow Fauzia, a companion to sugar and sweets, the mochi is built upon the right kind of rice, specifically glutinous rice which, when pounded, molds to a sticky, sweet consistency that's just right for this Japanese dessert. These rice cakes can be formed into all manner of fascinating shapes, with some historically used for ritual purposes. Nowadays, you can find mochi stuffed with a variety of delicious fillings, including savory flavors like taro or a traditional sweetened paste made from red azuki beans. Cannoli. If you want the sort of texture that only a good dip into a deep fat frying can supply, then you've got to try cannoli. Within those basic rules, there's lots of variation. Some cannoli are quite large, while others come out to a minute bite-sized five centimeters. Chefs have since played around with fillings and coatings like chocolate, so there's plenty of variety to experience for the dedicated cannoli lover. Flan. Flan, sometimes known more completely as flan de leche or creme caramel, is a beautifully simple custard dessert topped with a clear caramel sauce. 
When making flan, things are a little upside down, as Food Network notes. A caramel sauce is made first, then poured into a mold. The custard is used to fill the rest of the mold, and then the entire assembly is cooked, usually in a water bath like cheesecake or other custards. The best results are perfectly smooth custards dripping with a delicious caramel, sometimes with flavorings like cinnamon, citrus, or vanilla. Lemon bars. Lemon bars are another dessert that get unfairly maligned, perhaps because they're often one of the more disappointing offerings at a baking sale. But, as Taste argues, we can save the lemon bar from this sad fate. With the right recipe, it can transform from a stodgy nightmare to something wonderful, with a flaky shortbread crust and a tart lemony curd on top. While some of this depends on your personal taste, many argue that the best lemon bars are ones that go a little easier on the sugar than tradition. So be prepared for something zingy. Apple pie. But too often, we've been presented with something that claims to be apple pie, but is only a half-frozen or carelessly made beast of a dessert. If you've been so unfortunate, give apple pie a second chance. A truly good pie will have buttery, flaky crust with a warm, gooey, spiced apple filling. Cronuts. Sometimes it's right to be a little suspicious of trends, which may unfairly elevate a dessert that's ultimately too flashy to really satisfy. Then again, dessert trends can happen because something is genuinely good. For cronuts, those mixes of French croissant pastries and deep fried donuts, the latter may indeed be true. Yet when it's done right, it's a lovely mix of savory and sweet, soft and crunchy. Whether you make it at home or wait in line to buy one, shave ice. Perhaps it's summer where you are, and all of this talk of warm apple pie sounds a bit miserable. Maybe creamy things just don't work, either. What you really need for dessert is something cold and sweet and a bit light. Consider, then, the miracle that is a really good cup of shave ice. According to history, this treat is also known as snowballs, though it's more popularly called shave ice in Hawaii. They're generally pretty fluffy, as opposed to more dense snow cones. Shave ice vendors also have a heavier hand with the syrup. Nanaimo Bar. The Canadian Nanaimo Bar, named after a city in British Columbia, is so popular and tied to its national origin that the journal Canadian Food Studies published an investigation into the dessert's origins. It appears to have been a 20th century creation, with the first known recipe published in 1952. The bar cookie boasts three layers, which include a coconut and nut base, custard icing, and chocolate ganache. Sure, it's bound to be ultra-sweet, but the different textures and flavors have been pleasing people in Canada and beyond for more than 50 years.